application um, for this new content-based image retrieval system we will test uh, this uh, approach or this proposal in um, the problem of SARS-CoV-2 computer-aided diagnosis so the the idea is to propose a new content-based medical image search system so uh, our approach is based on, on information retrieval so the main, main idea is to uh, provide um, an image for for instance a uh, a CT of a chest uh, of a patient and to retrieve from the system uh, a number of close or similar images uh, with some diagnosis. And this uh, tool can uh, help um, uh, practitioners and researchers to define or to look for similar images to an uh, original image that uh, that is uh, that doesn't has um, um, doesn't have a, a diagnosis. So this search system can be helpful for uh, the search of similar systems uh, and trying to identify uh, some patterns in the content of the image. So the the idea of our system is to use deep learning architectures to generate representation of the images indexed by the by a nearest neighbor query engine. And we use deep learning for two purposes. First, it allows us to build representation of the images in a low dimensional space. And the second purpose is to incorporate latent information that deep learning uses to build high performance classifiers. So uh, what did we do? So we combined two deep learning architectures, the CNET, the context and code network, that is a uh, architecture for the segmentation of the images. And the second idea is to, uh, to combine and to use these embeddings uh, as an input for a second uh, architecture, that is the exception architecture, which builds a new representation of the images to solve a diagnosis task. So both embeddings, the CNET and the exception embeddings are concatenated, are indexed in a nearest neighbor's query engine to perform the, the, the queries. So when the user provides an example image, the system uses the CNET and exception models to obtain the example image encoding, projecting it into the same space in which the repository images were encoded, uh, facilitating the, the searches in the, in the repository. So the main contributions of this paper are the combination of two deep learning architectures supporting medical images, imaging in nearest neighbor searches, providing the valuable information to computer aided diagnosis systems. And we systematically validate our system precision, comparing our system performance favorably with its most direct competitors. And we use open data sets to favor reproducible research. So this is the proposed architecture and the idea is that the CNET architecture that extends the UNET architecture uh, incorporates two processing models, the dense accurate convolution and the residual multicarrier pooler. So the DAC and the RMP modules. Both modules were designed to capture high level characteristics and also preserve more spatial information throughout the encoded decoded architecture in the CNET. So then we use the encoding of the image generated by the RMP block here in purple color uh, to build its representation, the, represent the representation of the image. It is the highest level encoding generated by the network before entering the decoder. So the CNET uh, can be trained for medical image segmentation task by showing original segmented image pairs at the network inputs and outputs using mask of segmentation provided by experts. And this requires having a set of medical images together with their segmentation mask generated by specialists. The second architecture that is the exception architecture is based on the inception architecture that is used in image classification. So the idea of the inception architecture is to use models based on convolutional operators, which manage to capture short range dependencies in the input image. And these characteristics allow learning a new representation of the input image, identifying patterns between the original image that are useful for a better representation. 
So then we combine both architectures, train it in different tasks, the first one on segmentation and the second one on classification uh, to address the medical image search problem. So the main idea is to use the encoding of the CNET uh, as an input for the second architecture, that is the classifier, based on the exception architecture. And then we concatenate, we use both embeddings, the embedding of the CNET, the encoding of the image encoding of the CNET and the encoder of the exception that was used to solve the classif classification task that is shown here in, in green. So both uh, encodings are concatenated to, uh, and then they are fed into the query engine to perform uh, um, uh, nearest neighbors uh, queries. So the training and indexing uh, data flows is that we use uh, some images. In this paper, we use only images from uh, SARS-CoV-2, COVID uh, uh, images, and also with uh, uh, healthy patients, we combine both classes. And we uh, use uh, uh, CT images, CT, CT images from patients to train the CNET and the exception. And then these vectors are uh, fed into the indexer. And then we use uh, an index that is based on the multiple random projection trees algorithm to perform uh, efficiently the, the nearest neighbor square. This is the offline model of the system. And then the online model. So we have a, an expert that provides a, a new image, a CT image, uh, a chest CT image to the system. And then the system um, fed this image into the CNET and into the um, exception architectures. And then we retrieve the vector representation. So the concatenation of the CNET and the, and the uh, exception encodings. Uh, and this uh, representation of the image is in the same space of the original images used to train the architecture, the, the combination of both, both architectures. And then this vector is used at the representation of the query of the technician to uh, address the nearest neighbor's uh, uh, repres the nearest neighbor query. And then we provide the results using uh, a graph deployment. So we, we show to the final user, to the end user, um, the proximity graph between the results. Uh, in this version of the system, we are not using metadata. Just we use metadata for, to solve the classification task. So the, our experiments include three data sets, one to train the the CNET, and the second one to train the exception network, and the third one to make the validation process. So this is very important because we are not using the same images uh, of the first two data set to perform the validation. So we are directly evaluating the transfer of this model to a new data set with different, uh, uh, with a data acquisition performing in a different laboratory. So we are evaluating this in, 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 in real world, uh, in a real world context, where we acquire images that are different from the images used to train the original uh, model. And the results show that our uh, proposal is uh, achieves the best results in terms of precision for the uh, for different number of results used in the nearest neighbor's uh, query engine, uh, outperforming exception and unit uh, architectures. Uh, in the COVID um, class. So it is very uh, important. Uh, this result is very important because we can provide better results that is state of the art architectures for, uh, for image searching using this, uh, this uh, combina the combination of both architectures. And then if we disaggregate this with uh, health patients and uh, patients that, uh, that acquired the SARS-CoV-2, we can observe that the, the, um, the performance uh, is due to a, to a good uh, accuracy that is achieved in the target class. So in the, 
in the COVID-19 uh, class. And uh, there is some uh, confusion that is, uh, or the cost of the, um, of, of the process is, is paid at the precision in non-COVID images. And this is a view of our system where we provide a new image and then the proximity graph of uh, related results are shown to the end user. And when you uh, click on, the, on some of the related results, you can observe the metadata associated to these uh, recommendations. So uh, to conclude, uh, 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 this paper has shown that combining uh, both architectures, user for segmentation and classification tasks uh, is useful in image, image search. And our experiments conducted on, in, on images of patients with COVID-19 show that our method outperforms its most direct competitors in terms of precision without overfitting to either class of interest. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so, so much, Professor Mendoza. Um, if you have any question, you can still ask. If not, I have some questions. Okay, um, then I will just ask uh, uh, like small questions. Uh, is that system is available for all user? If it is uh, online, see the, yes. the system is online. Uh, well, not really because we are uh, providing, uh, we are uh, conducting some tests uh, on the data visualization uh, tool on the front end on the system. What we show it, uh, in this presentation is the back end model of the system. So we are uh, working on how to deploy the graph because in some queries we have uh, many results and it is very difficult to visualize in a, in a screen. So we are working in this part uh, to provide uh, the, the end user tool uh, and, and the idea is to, to do this uh, with an open uh, code uh, tool uh, to, 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 gar to guarantee the, the use of this tool for many users. Okay. Uh, then I'll ask just another small question. So uh, you showed your model. So I'm just wondering if uh, your model will be updated up, uh, after every new image. So uh, we train uh, using batch learning uh, on the uh, CNET uh, architecture. And then these images are a uh, fed into the exception architecture to, so, to address the classification task. Both architectures are recoded during training. So we've, we, we train the, uh, the CNET first, and then in a second stage, we train the exception. Uh, this is during the training stage of the, of the system. And when you provide a new image during the testing uh, or, or the, for, for, for looking, looking for a new image, we uh, we fed this image into the CNET. We retrieve its encoding, and this encoding is used as the input for the exception architecture. This is I the see. complete uh, data flow of the image in, in the system. Okay, thank you so much.